Okay, you ready? Now, what was that? You want to lift up the mainsail uh, during uh, anchorage or while we are motoring? Yeah, is the wind on our nose? If the wind is on our Before nose... Before it came a bit like this. Okay, let's have a look. What do we got? Man, it's kind of all over the place, right? Well, let's, let's try and haul it up a little bit before we go, so it's ready. <laughs> and I think everything else is okay. We left everything intact from yesterday. So yeah, it's kind of one of those days, rain or shine, we go. And today it rains, but we just need to take a little emergency break from the weather yesterday because it was shit <laughs> and it really sucked. And I think everybody needed a break. I mean, I was okay, but I didn't want to break the boat either because we had nasty wind, nasty waves, and we were just punching through waves like a submarine. And I knew it was just a matter of time before something broke. So anyway, it was a good decision just to come in here, spend the night, let everybody recollect themselves. And now we go. Okay, yeah, you can start. Okay. Go ahead. So we're gonna make a run for it for Portobello. The wind has finally dropped a little bit. I mean, there's a very slight breeze now, but now the question is, what's the sea state like? So we're gonna go outside of the canal entrance and just have a look and see what the sea state is like out there. If it's good, we keep going. If we can make at least five knots in this weather against the waves, then, you know, comfortable without bashing through it again and just being uncomfortable and breaking the boat, we'll keep going. If not, we just come back to the anchorage and try again tomorrow so that's what we're doing so we get the main cell up first because we did have that problem with the engine you remember so i know that there's still some problems with the gas tank or the fuel tank so i tried forever to get somebody to come and clean that tank i did as best as i could by myself but i know it's not perfect so we're gonna have to deal with that until we cycle through some more fuel and i put in lots of cleaner and you know bacterial disinfectant all that kind of stuff for diesel fuel but that's why we want the main cell up so we can still continue if we have an engine issue because of course that's important to be able to keep navigating the boat especially around all of these ships because we have ships everywhere inside and outside and if we have an engine failure we need to deal with it in a hurry so we're almost there is perfect, oil pressure is good, and we're just revving up, warming up at about 1200 RPM. I'll bring it up a little bit more just to warm up the belts. And you can see we have a ton and ton and ton of ships around us. <laughs> they are everywhere. And we got some rain coming towards us, but nothing major, so we're just going to go out and try and make a run for it. So yeah, you can see at that RPM, we're charging at about 6,000 watts. So we're getting 6,000, that's over and above everything running on the boat because we have the air conditioning running right now also. So that's being powered first, and we're still charging at 6,000 watts, and that's at about 1,400 RPM. Muy bien. That will work. So we'll let that continue to warm up. When the main sails up, we pull anchor, and we're off. And hopefully, the sea state is better than yesterday because yesterday, it sucked. Seriously. Did it suck? Very suck.
Making a run for it. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to stay in front of my city. It's tricky out here. But we're making a run for it. Stronghold. 
no, we have a crisis. We've lost the captain's hat. Yeah. So we yeah. must <laughs> turn around for that. Yeah, we turn around. It's a lucky hat, huh? Oh, yeah. Where is there. it? It's the captain's hat. Yeah, yeah we saw that. Where is that damn thing? There it is. No battery. Fucking battery? No, we're getting an error. It's not a battery error. It's just some stupid salt error or something. Yeah, battery. So. No, we are all beautiful. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. The dinghy's having a hissy fit. We'll have to get a ride. Hey! 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 En el Pacífico. En el Pacífico. Tenemos un amigo que está por allí. Ahora. Nosotros vamos a San Andrés. Wow, now we really look like the clampets. Oh, yeah. Look at all the laundry. Yo recién se lo trajo para trabajar acá. Pero por papeles creo que no hemos podido salir. My ancestors. Richie. Francesco! 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 Hey! Hey, Rita! Hola, Rita! Hola! Hey, Francesco! Dios te bendiga. Muchas gracias. Hola, amigo. Bien? Yes, En el mar, yeah, la vida yeah, es yeah, más yeah, sabrosa. No, 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 le parece a todos los dos. Fresh Italian food in Puerto Rico. Can you check that? The... Sorry. Oh. Fresh dough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please come in. Hola. Esto es un restaurante. Backstage, VIP. Un restaurante descalzo. 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 descalzo.
on the outside of the boat, we've got Sandra working on the dinghy. How are you making out? Well, almost ready got it. to take it out, yeah. Yeah, you guys so. remember we had an issue where it wouldn't start last mm -hmm. night. We couldn't get it to activate. It just kept giving us an error code, error code 6, I think it was, which I looked up, and it says it's some kind of a communication issue between the controller and the motor. Uh-oh, what's happened? Hey! Uh, Eric Schaefer, right. to the rescue. Yeah, is he all right or he's hurt? No, I don't think he's all right. Pleasure helping you, buddy. Hopefully, you're going to be okay. Too much party yesterday. Too much drinks. <laughs> now, the DV then go to make a Mexican tamales with a banana leaves, no? Yeah, that was our banana, banana leaves. Ah, that's a big banana leaf. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> from Mexico. Tamales are good anytime. Anytime. 